Hey everyone, there's the cat. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry, cat distraction. She's crazy. Um, anyway, I thought today we would talk about the chore system that I have in place for my 10 year old daughter. I wanted to share with you the things that she does on a daily basis for chores and then the reward system of how she can earn things and what she earns. So all I have is this paper here. We used to do the chore sticks, like the popsicle sticks, and she would just draw a random one every day. Sorry, that's gonna be distracting. Anyway, <laughs> she could just draw a random one every day and do what was on that chore stick and put it in the other side. And it worked for a little while, but um, I was not doing a good job at like staying on her and making sure that she was doing them every day. And she wasn't really motivated to do them, which what kid is motivated to do chores? So, um, you know, things were just getting skipped or not a very good job done on them. So I scoured Pinterest got lots of ideas and I came up with a system of my own. So what I have are things that she can do, things that she can buy, and things that she can do to lose points. Things that she can do, what you see highlighted here, these are her daily chores that are required. So Monday she cleans the bathroom, Tuesday tidy and vacuum the living room, Wednesday, she'll clean Archer's room, that's her little brother, and picking up around outside the house, windows and doors, and then on Sunday, she cleans her room and does one load of laundry. And if you see on the column beside that, she can earn, and what I have, um, I will show you here. She has a, she has a little jar of beads. She actually came up with this system on her own. But she has these beads and then as she earns a point, she will take a bead and put it in her jar that she's saving. So Monday through Friday, she's going to earn, well, six days a week. She's gonna earn seven beads regardless because those are required chores. Now on top of that, I have other ways that she can earn points throughout the week. If she is tired that day, then that's fine, just do your required chore. But if she feels like doing more, she has a lot of opportunity to earn more points. And you can see I have taking out the trash, dusting, cleaning the car, and on the back, I have all of these other ones that she can earn. And there's a few of them that she can earn two points for that are a little more work. And these are just ideas and things that work for my family in our house. If you were somehow able to do all of these chores, um, within the week, the maximum number of beads that she could earn is 20. So she can earn 20 a week if she did like a ton of chores that week. That hasn't happened yet. Um, maybe one day. But the rules we have are that she can't do an extra chore if it doesn't need to be done. Like you can't take the trash out if there's no trash to take out. We're not going to get freebie points for that. And also she cannot do the same chore twice within a week. So at the next week, all of this starts over, she can do it again. Okay, so saying she can earn up to 20 points a week, there are these categories of things that she can use her points to buy. And she buys rewards, and this is what her incentive is for doing those extra chores. So we have chores, we have rewards all the way from 10 points up to 100 points. And again, you can customize these to things that your child likes. So you have a game night or going out to get ice cream, staying up 30 minutes. Um, later on a school night, having a sleepover, a trip to the Dollar Tree. So she's really excited about this trip to the Dollar Tree because I'm gonna take her there, a special trip, just us, and she's gonna get, I think, $10 to spend on whatever she wants at the Dollar Tree. And for a kid, that feels like a lot. That feels like a shopping spree. And, you know, there's everything at the Dollar Tree. 
So she can earn that all the way up to getting a Nintendo game. Now there's also things that we have on here to remind her to have good behavior. So if she does these certain things, she will lose some of the beads from her jar and that will take away from her rewards. So it's really worked well for our family to incentivize her not to do these things because she wants her rewards and she's gonna remember to do the right thing. So leaving things out or not cleaning up. Um, I put one point per item, but I've really just been doing one point because it's usually just one category of things like her stuff from school. Um, I really haven't had to take away any points yet. So not being ready in time, that's something we've struggled with and this has helped. Doing a poor job on chores, bad table manners, not listening, being told more than once. That is all I have for the lose. You don't wanna like overwhelm the lose point department because then it's just gonna take away the joy of this whole thing. You don't want them losing points all the time and not having anything that they've earned. So that's it. Um, my daughter comes home every day and she checks this list and does what she needs to do. And then if she feels like earning more points, she can. And it's really been great for us. And like I said, you can change any of this to suit what's best for your family and your individual child, and things you need to work on or things that they prefer for a reward. So, um, and I also feel like the by category, it really helps. It's helping teach my daughter to be better with money in the future because she's learning that if she earns 10 points and uses it right away, then she's back to zero and she's not gonna have any of these prizes that she has to save up for. So she's already told me that she's saving up 60 points so she can go to the Dollar Tree have a game night and a dessert of choice. And she's just very excited about that. I think she's like at 25 points right now. So anyway, I hope this helps you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and everybody hit the bell down below so you can be notified of new videos when I put them up. And thanks for watching. Bye.